going on everybody it's your boy rick one ball coming at you again with yet another classic thank you guys for supporting me my subscriber count is 2543 subscribers i appreciate all the love and support that you guys are giving me but i wanted to chime in on this lebron james situation that's going on with the washington wizards commentators uh for those who don't know the commentator during a uh, houston rockets versus the washington wizards game uh, on the play where uh, Kevin Porter Jr. made the, uh, the game-winning three-point shot, the commentator said he pulled the trigger just like his daddy did. I mean, I don't even know what type of joke that is. Like, sometimes people just need to knock it. Just, just don't even try going down the joke lane. You, you, you got terrible jokes. It's not funny. Nothing is funny about it, but apparently... Uh, it's some serious stuff that went on with his father and everything like that when it came down to, I think, a, a conviction when it came down to a murder conviction or something like that. And the man is, uh, already has expressed that he was extremely remorseful and apologized to Kevin Porter Jr. Uh, in, the, in the Houston Rockets and told him he was sorry. But LeBron James, right when it happened, he hops right over it. He hops right on it. And he starts giving his opinion on it, saying we have no place in our league for that. That man doesn't deserve, deserve to keep working and this and that, this and that. I, I'm trying to find out, like, how did LeBron James have the time to hop on each and every social issue that's going on in the world? I'm trying to figure out where does he get the time to do this? He's always done it, and he's a hell of a basketball player and a hell of an activist as well. But I don't even know how he finds time to do both. I really do not. Uh, the man already said he's sorry. I don't think it's any malice and intent in there involved. I think he uh, he slipped up on his words. He didn't mean to say it. And uh, he probably mistaked Kevin Porter for somebody else. Because even if he was going to make a mistake like that, I don't think he would have came on the airways and risked his job and his livelihood. I mean, think about it. So I think LeBron needs to step down. Uh, they're saying that LeBron has doubled down, saying that, yeah, he still feels the same way and he still wants the man fired like – LeBron, come on, man. I mean, let it go, bro. You need to focus on the Lakers and trying to get your ass out of the slums and out of the damn, out of the bunkers, if you will. Leave that man job alone, man. So you guys tell me what you guys think in the comments about this whole Washington Wizards commentator and LeBron James situation is going on. I appreciate you guys for rocking with me. Rick One Ball. Woo! Bill Code 250. Say, say I'm on, bro. Leave me alone.